What's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make the inside of our police station for all of our city related needs. This includes the police reception, the jail area, the garage area, the hallway, the office area, interrogation room, the processing area, and finally the captain's office. If you are new to the channel, please do consider subscribing and clicking the little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all my stuff sent directly to your sub box. This is the first and last time that I'll say this, ladies and gentlemen. To make what I'm going to show you in this tutorial, you first of all have to have a completed police station like you can see behind me. Once you have completed the police station, you can then make the inside. If you haven't made the police station, please find it. It's in the card system, the description below, and it will be at the top of the comment section as well. You'll be able to find it nice and easy. You can make the police station, the entire outside of it. It will look exactly like this. And then we can move on to this tutorial, which is going to be the inside. So that's your first and final warning. Let's get started. So just before we start building, ladies and gentlemen, here are all of the materials that we are going to be using in this first part of the tutorial. Please do make sure that you have access to all of those and enough of those materials as well. Step one, detectives. The first thing that we have to do, the first step is to move inside of the police station. It might seem like an obvious step, but that's the first thing that we have to do. We have to make our way inside. So we have to split up the police station into rooms and add some floors and some stairs before we can add major details to specific rooms. So the first wall that I want to add is going to be between the garage area and the reception. So right next to where this pillar quartz row is, where this garage begins, we're going to run a row of white concrete that is going to separate one side from the other. We'll be adding doorways and all sorts of things like that in a little bit later. Although, if you do want to add it in now, I plan on having a double doorway one row away from this wall slash window right here. Additionally, you can knock out this row of white concrete. This will destroy the doors, unfortunately. But we are going to be reflooring this area, and we're actually going to refloor it using some smooth stone. So that's actually going to go directly underneath where those doors were, right here. There we go. That's perfect. And that smooth stone is going to actually move through the entire build. So I'm quite glad that I actually added that right now. What else do we want to do? Well, we want to add a counter space, which is going to allow us to build the stairs and a wall. So the counter space that I want to add is right where this reception area is, where people will immediately be greeted as they enter the police station. And beginning from underneath the left side of this window, place four, one, two, three, four, blue concretes extending out from the window. Go left by six, one, two, three, four, five, six, Perfect, and then stick a white concrete on the end. I want you to join that white concrete back to the wall, extend it forwards, extend it up by two, one, two, left by three, one, two, three, and join it down. I'm going to destroy in the ground replace it with smooth stone and I'm going to place a double door here because this is going to be a staircase. Additionally, I'm going to extend this area here to the left. I'm going to place two rows of white concrete. So that's going to be one row, two rows of white concrete. And I'm going to join the white concrete over here towards the front of the build and also backwards towards the back of the build. So you can kind of see how this gets slotted together now. Whilst I am in this side of the build as well, I want to create where these cells are going to be, but only the walls. We aren't going to go too crazy and add loads and loads of details in, but this is what we're going to do here. So if we start on the right side, and we just want to add a row of white concrete here in between the window areas. And I want you to add a row of free white concrete coming up from the bottom of this row, like one, two, three, just like that. 
And then we're going to take the top and extend it left by two using gray concrete. One, two. Join it down to the ground. I'm then going to leave a gap of two. And then I'm going to have a row of white concrete coming up from the ground. Place two gray concretes coming across. One, two. Join down to the ground. Leave a gap of two in the ground and then place another white concrete. And join that to the wall. These white concretes want to be as high as the staircase, or I shouldn't say staircases, they want to be as high as the entrances, the doorways for each cell. So this might not look like it at the moment, but these are going to be two individual cells. We've just laid the groundwork for them a little bit. And additionally, you can fill in in between these windows here on the front of the build, just so that we don't have any weird alcoves like that. I think that it is important to extend these white concrete rows here upwards. So first of all, I'm going to focus on the staircase area here. So this staircase area here, we are going to place rows of white concrete extending up. This is going to come all the way up to the top of the build. This is what I, what I might call like a sectioned off staircase, meaning that it is completely independent of the floor plan on like the first and second floor. So it's its own little thing, so we don't have to worry about it too much. We're actually going to be tackling uh, these stairs in a little moment. But what we also want to do is take note of where this row of white concrete is here, and you can actually extend it all the way up. But before we do extend it up, I do want to create a doorway leading into the, uh, what would you call it? I guess the jail area, right? So it's just going to be a single door right in the middle of the, uh, right in the middle, right here. And it's just going to, I'm going to knock out the floor and I'm going to place a dark oak wood door here. So that's going to take you into like the jail area. This is the stairs area. And this is of course the garage area. And I'm going to knock these out and I'm going to place a little bit of smooth stone as well. Now all of these rooms, they're all going to have their own little different floors, most of them. And uh, I'd, I'm, I'll tackle that in a little moment. So what we're going to do first of all, so now that we've reached this point, I think that we're going to continue extending this wall upwards, because that's that's quite important. We're going to extend this wall all the way up to the top of the build. And this is actually going to create a good separation for us. This will create a great separation uh, for the second story as well. So I want you to bear in mind that the row of smooth stone that we placed earlier is going to extend through the entire building. So I'm just going to kind of do a little bit of an outline for it now. And that's going to give a good representation of where this floor is going to be. It's quite obvious where it goes because like as you head out onto where the helipad would be, then uh, like the floor just continues on. So it's, it's right here. Um, we're going to have two different rooms here, okay? So this room here on the left, where this wall is, this left room here, this is going to be an interrogation room. And equally, we want to have uh, a floor in here. So this is all going to be like smooth stone as well. Just like this. Um, I'm actually going to partition. Not, not, not there, actually. What I'm also going to do is I'm going to create a doorway into this room here. This is what I would call like a processing room. So this processing room, again, it's going to have the same sort of floor, so this is all going to be like smooth stone. Again, kind of just doing the outline for it, we'll fill it all in and a little bit later. I am going to join the two uh, sides together though, because there is something kind of interesting here. So I do believe that what we should do when it comes to the interrogation room is we should add a wall here. So we're going to add a wall in between, we're going to use white concrete, and we're going to join the left side and the right side upwards. But we want, say, the five middle rows, like one, two, three, four, five, we want these rows to be made out of light grey glass. So just like this, and we're going to fill the rest of this in using white concrete. So that's going to be the two-way glass that you get when you go to the police station. Not that I've seen it personally, but I have seen loads of movies and TV, so... Um, we're also going to add a little bit of grey concrete just behind it, just so that it kind of like darkens this room a little bit. And I think that that will work quite nicely. 
Well, what else can we do? Well, in here, there really isn't too much more to do. Although, although what we can do in here is we can just cover up this part of the wall and we can use uh, just our white concrete to just cover up this part of the wall, like where we have the inside of the window sort of area. Because this is going to be like where you have your picture taken, your mug shot. I, I made it sound so nice, didn't I? This is that's where you get your mug, sh mug shot taken when you can be identified if you've committed a crime. It, I shouldn't say you have your picture taken. Um, additionally, we can add two, uh, two doors in here, so there and there. So, this room, or the, the staircase area here, I believe that when you get to the second floor, we own, yeah, I guess we're going to have another double doorway. So, it's actually going to be directly above where the double doorway is on the first floor here. So, we, we know where we've got to, we go in that way and we come out here. But before we tackle that, I do want to also add in a little bit of uh, where the office is going to be. So, I'm going to place a row of white concrete right next to the entrance here, like to the second floor. And then the row of white concrete is going to extend to the right by six. One, two, three, four, five, six. Pretty much where that window ends. And then I'm going to join it like this. And I'm going to join all of the rows. So every single one of them. And believe it or not, ladies and gentlemen, we, we are making really, really good progress here. Really good progress. We're, we're laying down a lot of good rooms right now. Sounds weird to say, doesn't it? Laying down good rooms. Um, this is the captain's office. So the captain's office, I'm just going to fill the bottom of it in using a little bit of smooth stone. Now the reason that I'm going to do this right now is because I want to create a door. The door is just going to be one row away from the end right here. I might even uh, change the positioning of it a little bit. Yeah, I'll tell you what, it'll be two rows away from the end here. And then the door can go here, and then we can have a double window right there. And the double window can be ju just black glass. That's perfectly fine. So you can see in and check on what the captain's doing at all times. He's very accessible, and I've, I accidentally used smooth stone there, didn't I? My bad. That's okay. So the next thing that I am going to do is I'm now going to finally head in to here. I'm going to refloor the bottom of the staircase area. Just like this. Refloor it. I'm going to extend the floor out. So this is where the floor would be, of course. I'm only going to add these rows here. And I'm going to grab these stairs, the quartz stairs. Right here. And the stairs are just going to start on the left. They're going to be like one row away from the wall so you can walk up. We're going to have two quartz stairs, grey concrete on the end. And then we should be able to just two, gray, uh, two quartz stairs it up like that. And then that way, we get all the way up to the top can place a little bit of glass block just next to it and then that way nobody's falling off or anything like that. Place a little bit of grey concrete underneath the stairs, can decorate this area now or we're actually going to be doing it later anyway and this is kind of like how you're going to get up and down and th that's all there is to it pretty much. And then that's the, that's the staircase, we've got all of the rooms laid out. So now what we have to do, ladies and gentlemen, we have to do a few different things. And this is a lot of stuff to do, okay? So I want you to I want you to pay attention and you might want to mark things out as well. So when it comes to the roof, I want to completely re-roof the roof using some block of iron. So this block of iron is going to sit directly underneath the quartz roof that we already have. It's going to flow through into all of the other rooms, every single one of them. Every single room in the upper part of the build, the second story, is going to have an iron block roof. And that's all there is to it. But that's that's it. I don't know what else to tell you. The roof is going to be made entirely out of block of iron everywhere on the second story. Even in the staircase, we're going to do that. And even in the captain's office, we are going to do that as well. So, that's one thing that we have to do, but I don't want to go through all of that right now, so that well, that's one, one job. The next job that we'll have to do is we will have to make the second floor as well, that we're actually going to be walking around on. We already know where that is, it's already marked out with smooth stone, so ceiling, smooth stone. The next thing that we're going to have to do is re-floor. That means ripping up all of the grass or whatever it is you place it on, floor and replacing it with smooth stone. We have to do that for the majority, do bear in mind that I said the majority, of the downstairs. 
That includes the reception area, we've already done it here, and that also includes the jail area as well. So all of this, all of this is going to be smooth stone. There's nothing else to it, that's, that's all that's going to be. However, we're going to work our way into the garage area, and here's where things are different. The first few rows of the garage area, so like these rows, like as soon as you walk through this doorway, these are all going to be, this is going to be smooth stone, like the back part of the garage here. But then, this area here, we're going to kind of separate it out a little bit. We're going to place yellow concrete rows to kind of like signify the spaces in between the garage doors, like this. And then the rest of the floor, like where all the vehicles are going to be, uh, we're just going to place a little bit of grey concrete in there. So this half smooth stone, that half grey concrete. And additionally, I did bring it with me. Beacons. I kind of want to make, I kind of want to put like beacons in between the garage on like the front. And I, I guess that they could also act as like alarms. They kind of just look policey. And we want, and I kind of want the same thing on the back as well. So like here next to the doorway, I'm just going to add a couple of rows. And then some beacons, just like that. So, there we go, ladies and gentlemen. You know what you have to do. In the garage, smooth stone, grey concrete, everywhere else smooth stone, fill in that floor with smooth stone, and fill in the ceiling using block of iron. That will take a long time, believe you me. And this is what it will look like once it's been complete. Here we go, so once you have fully completed all of the floors, and mostly floors, I think we just did pretty much floors here, then this is what it will look like. We have the smooth stone running all the way from the reception into the jail. You'll find that if we come into the garage area, then we have a bit of smooth stone, but we just have our lanes for our vehicles. And if we come upstairs, then you'll notice that, of course, we have the stairs, we've got the smooth stone. You'll notice that we, of course, have the floor, and we also have the ceiling. And you'll find that that is absolutely everywhere that you can see. And I've, of course, I've added some lighting just so that we can continue the tutorial because it was way too dark. So now that we have a whole foundation laid out, ladies and gentlemen, we are now going to begin work on individual rooms. The first room that I want to tackle is the jail room, which is directly, as you walk in the police station, it's right to your left. It's where we made these cells earlier. The only place that has bars on the windows. So to make this room, you are going to need all of these materials that you can now see on the screen right now. Please do make sure that you have access to all of these and enough of those materials as well. Step one, ladies and gentlemen. The first thing that we're going to do in here is make a desk. The desk is going to begin from the bottom corner of this window, closest towards the corner of the police station, and it's going to be made out of an upside down oakwood stair, a slab on the end, and then another upside down stair on the end of that. It has a computer on the actual table, so I'm going to stick a solid block here, birch trap door flipping up to the top of the stair, destroy, weighted pressure plate. So that's basically just like a little laptop. I'm going to chuck a flower pot on there for decoration, add a seat either side of the table, one can be further away from the desk, one can be closer, you can add signs to the seats. Feel free to change the wood, feel free to change, well it doesn't even have to be wood, you don't have to use oak planks or spruce or anything, you can use quartz if you like, you can use all manner of materials. We're going to place a shelf just up above here, that's actually going to serve an important purpose. I'm going to stick an armor stand in the corner, now that could have guard equipment, so that could have say like it could have like a baton, it could have like the guard uniform if you have time to do all of that. Uh, I'm going to chuck all of this stuff away, and I'm going to grab, say, the lanterns, tripwire hook, iron bars, observer, lever, iron doors, grey concrete, ladders, and some red beds. So this shelf here, this is where you keep keys. Lantern for light, tripwire hooks look like, like what you would hang your keys on. So what else are we going to do? I want to place an observer in the corner of the room here, facing the cells, so that the guard knows what's going on over here, even whilst he's sat down there. So these areas here, these are cells, as I mentioned. So I'm going to place iron bars in between the grey concrete and the white concrete areas. Iron doors and levers. The levers are the only way that you can open the doors. So it's only the guards that can get in and out. Inside of these rooms, we want to have bunk beds. So I'm going to place, this should work, 
two grey concrete blocks in this corner, red bed on top, straw underneath, red bed below, grey concrete on the end, ladders. So that's bunk beds. Easy as that. Let's do the same in the other cell as well because we'll have to uh, because we'll have to pretty much just copy this and we need a whole different set of materials as well. So grey concrete, some ladders. So now we have a couple of set of bunk beds in each room. And additionally, what else do we need in the rooms? Well, we're going to need toilets and that sort of stuff. So, toilet you can make out of so many different materials, but I'm going to use like a polished onion site, some birch trap doors, I'm going to use like cauldrons for a sink, tripwire hook, I'm going to use grey concrete and an oak pressure plate, and outside the doors, I'm actually, or outside the cells, I'm actually going to put some chairs as well. So, spruce wood stairs and spruce wood signs. Opposite the bunk beds, I'm going to have a toilet. Upside down polished stand and site, birch trap door. So that's like one of those prison toilets and that's like a toilet seat or maybe the back of the toilet. Sink next to it, which is a cauldron, trip wire hook, grey concrete, oak pressure plate on top. Now that kind of looks like either a book or just like a, uh, just, you know, like a, a unit or something. And we want both, we want that in both cells as well. So like in this corner, and the site stairs, birch trap door, you can have it up or down. I'll probably have it up. Cauldron, tripwire hook, grey concrete, oak pressure plate on top. And that's all there is to it. And you can close those up if you like. That's that's looking pretty good. If the prisoners or if... Yeah, I, I guess you would call them prisoners, right? I mean, if, if the people that are being detained want to have visitors, we can have chairs here. And then later on, I'll give you guys the option if you want to add a uh, maybe some plants or something. It, it really does depend how dark and dreary you want this to be. I'd also recommend, I mean, lanterns, if you want, you can hang them instead of torches. You can hang maybe lanterns where we have the white concretes. Just, it looks a little bit more ominous in here. I quite like this particular look. And, um, well, that's it, ladies and gentlemen. That's the jail area. Not too bad, right? So, the next area that we're going to be taking care of, this is going to be quite an easy and quick area. There's a few crossover materials. This is the reception area. So, I'm going to get rid of all of this. And... Here are the materials that we are going to be using to make the reception area. Please do make sure that you have access to all of these materials and enough of them as well. And once you're ready, we can begin working. And of course, pause the video if you have to. Once you do have all of those items, we can get this thing rolling. So the first thing that I'm going to do is create a partition using spruce fence gate between the desk and the garage area and everywhere else. So behind here, we're going to knock into the desk area, and I guess that we'll have to replace that, uh, the floor, a little bit later on. But on the desk, we're going to want to place a computer, so somewhere along the desk, place a uh, quartz stair. Item frame in front, apple inside of it, looks like a Mac. Place a weighted pressure plate on one side, button on the other side, mouse and keyboard. Feel free to place like a couple of flower pots about. Now they could actually be real flower pots or they could be like, you know, coffee cups. I mean, please have to work long hours sometimes. And I mean, you gotta have some coffee to keep yourself awake. And what else are we gonna do? We're gonna add a couple of armor stands just behind here. And you can give the armor stands something. Oh, they look like they're holding hands. That's adorable. We, you can give the armor stands maybe some night sticks or again, like, um, like equipment that police would wear. Uh, we're going to just have a shelf here. That's gonna be some spruce slabs along this back wall. Um, I'm going to maybe maybe I'll also place like just a flower pot up there as well And I'm going to grab these things here. I'm gonna grab the oakwood stairs oak sign blue concrete painting lantern trip by hook So more keys. So that's gonna be a couple of trip by hooks on the shelf and a lantern I'm gonna have a couple of seats behind the desk now I'm gonna place them right all the way up to here So just a couple of chairs just behind with some oak signs just on these sides of the chairs here. You can spruce this up by adding paintings. You can spruce this up by adding um, item frames, but I, I don't want to make it too colorful in here, to be honest. And I'm just going to, whoops, there we go. I'm just going to replace that. So that's that sort of area. Here, I'm going to have a load of seats and I, I think I'm going to create seats in quite a few places. So I'm going to stick like a blue concrete here in this corner and I'm going to leave a double gap blue concrete, double gap, blue concrete, something like that. And I'm going to grab, I would destroy it, wouldn't I? I'm going to grab the quartz stairs. Here we go. And then we can just have a load of seating pretty much just in the front of the police station. And like here, and like here, you know, something like that. Um, what we could also do 
is we could I mean if you wanted to you could add you could add more seating because the, the the police station isn't just where you bring criminals I mean you literally you can come here for a variety of reasons for all sorts of things so you could add more seating although mine is going to be a little bit more nice and open like this um, if you want, you can drop a lantern in a couple of different positions, maybe like over here and maybe over here to keep things light. You can add paintings on the wall if you want to, so I'm glad I actually have the dirt. So how about here and here we can add a couple of paintings. Like, I probably don't want double paintings, actually. Maybe just single ones, because double paintings are a bit too big, I think. So he that, you know what? That's fine. That That's fine. I usually get angry at uh, the, re the repetition of it, but that's actually okay. And, I mean, this This is pretty much it. I mean, later on, we're going to go through the entire police station and, and add carpet, lanterns, plants and stuff. But for now, ladies and gentlemen, the, the reception is actually... It's not looking too bad, is it? Not looking too bad at all. So, we're actually going to leave that as it is. And downstairs, all for all intents and purposes, is pretty much done. So, we're going to work our way upstairs now. And the first thing that we are going to tackle... Now that we're upstairs, I'll tell you what, we'll take care of the interrogation room. We'll kind of like work our way over like a wave. So, this is the interrogation room. It doesn't need many materials, but I'm going to dump these. Here are all of the materials that you will need for the interrogation room. Please do make sure that you have access to all of these and enough of those materials as well. Now, once you have all of these materials right here, and of course, pause the video if you have to, we can begin work on the interrogation room. Now, this room is purposefully very, very simple. We don't want any distractions in here. It's just, this is where you question the suspects. So, first of all, we're going to have a table. It's going to be made out of quartz, and we're going to place two upside-down quartz stairs coming outwards from the bottoms of the two windows, like that. We're going to place quartz slabs in between. We're going to have upside down quartz stairs as well. We're going to double up on all of those blocks. We're going to stick a lever in the middle of the table. Now, whichever side the prison would be sitting, so probably this side is where this is going to be. And if you've ever seen in like crime shows and stuff, like where people get handcuffed to like tables and that so that they don't, you know, do anything crazy, that's what that is. Um, we're going to stick chairs either side uh, you can put even more if you want i mean usually i'm, I'm imagining a one-on-one -on -one interrogation scenario like this and if you like you, you can put like a painting like in the original i decided i don't know why to put a painting here on this wall and i'm not sure what possessed me to do it but for some reason, I do kind of like it. But this room is meant to be dead, dead simple. I think that that's the entire point when it comes to interrogating people. I don't think you want distractions. And I, I think it's pretty much just that I'm talking to you and you're talking to me. I don't think there's anything in between. So now that you've done all of that, ladies and gentlemen, we can whip out our way from the interrogation room. And by the way, if you want, you can even label it as such. Like if you want to, like, interry... Oh, no. How do I spell interrogation? I guess this... Is it two R's? interrogations there we go we can have like an interrogation room and equally so this is going to be processing so if you want i kind of want to put it on the same side of the wall here um so if you want this is kind of like a processing room so when people are first brought in if they're not chucked straight in jail then this is processing here we go so full processing here we are we're going to need a whole new set of materials so let me dump these here are all of the materials that we're going to be using for the processing room. Please do make sure that you have access to all of them and enough of them as well. So once you have all of these materials for yourselves, ladies and gentlemen, pause the video if you have to, of course. But once you do have them, we can get started. So the first thing that I want to do is make the computer. So this is where all of the info is going to get logged in and all of that fun stuff. We're going to begin from the bottom corner of this window and we're going to place one, two, three, four grey concretes coming outwards from it. We're going to make a computer. We've done this a few times already. So this is basically, it's going to be a, a quartz stairs. Uh, it's going to have an item frame in it, Apple, and then you can place like a keyboard and a mouse down. I want to leave a gap between where I place the end grey concrete and I want to just like box this area in just a little bit like that. And I'm going to create a, uh, I'm also going to place buttons on the left and right sides of this blank wall here. So, you know when you see mugshots and stuff, if you've ever seen it on TV, whatever, or maybe you've had a mugshot yourself, I don't know, then um, this is like the height chart and this is where it gets taken. And 
I'm also going to place like an armor stand there just kind of like as a representation like that's where you stand I think it's kind of funny that the armor stands having having a shot taken um, I'm going to place a chair behind the desk area here so that's going to be I'm just going to make that an oak chair with oak signs on the side uh, I'm going to get rid of all of these things, although I, I don't know if I need any more of those. I'm going to grab the Observer, trip by Hooksy, uh, Regular Lanterns, Spruce Wood Stairs, and Spruce Wood Signs. And the Observer is basically a camera, so that's going to kind of like suspend itself just a few rows away from the armor stand like there. There all do. Um, additionally, what else do we want to have in here? Well, additionally, I, I did want a shelf. Uh, I didn't actually include... Uh, the material for that, but I'm sure that it'll be in the item list. Uh, either a spruce shelf or oak or whatever. It's just going to suspend itself above this area here, like where the computer technician shall be. I'm going to st stick a lantern and just trip wire hooks. I figure keys would kind of be everywhere. Um, and also, I mean, this is also this is something you can do with all desks. Every single cop thing that I've ever seen, police thing that I've ever seen, there's always coffee everywhere. So mugs, cups, I mean, you can just place them anywhere I think. This is where you would watch the person being interrogated. So a couple of chairs behind here. I'm trying to make all the chairs a little bit different. Um, I mean I, different, not different styles exactly but different materials. You can make them different styles if you like but I want to keep things simple. Just a couple of spruce wood uh, stairs like this and yeah there you go. Later on we might place a little bit of carpet in here but maybe not actually and maybe some part of plants but also maybe not just to keep things uh I don't know, I kind of like how this place, it's not too colourful. It's like a place that you don't really want to be. But yeah, this is the um, this is the processing room, ladies and gentlemen. Once you've completed that, we can work our way into the general office area. So, let me get rid of all these. The general office area here is where the police officers, the detectives, everyone, people do their computer work and paperwork and all that. You know how when you how they're always like complaining about paperwork and stuff? Well, this is where that's all going to be getting done anyway. Apparently, it must be really, really horrible. And to make the office area, you're going to need all of these things that you can see on the screen right now. So, please do make sure that you have access to all of those materials and enough of them as well. So now that you have all of these materials, and of course, pause the video if necessary, we can get to work on the office area. So when it comes to the office area, first of all, I'm going to make the desks. The desks are easy to make and easy to place. In between all of the windows, you have three rows of white concrete. We focus on the middle concrete and we place upside down spruce wood stairs extending out from them. Spruce wood slabs extending from the stairs, and then upside down spruce wood stairs on the ends of the slabs, like this. So this is going to be perfect. Those are desks. So the desks each have a computer, they're going to be right in the middle, and we've made these a few times before. Quartz stairs, apples in them. Feel free to use laptops instead, you guys know my design for the laptop. Um, and of course you place the keyboard and mouse, maybe even interchange which side you place which. Uh, I'm going to place uh, chairs directly behind the screen because I, I don't know where else you place it really. And I'm just going to add these signs. As always, feel free to change the, the makeup of the desks, the chairs, the computers. Feel free to change it up, but I figure in a police station it'll all be generic. Like it'll all be the same thing. I don't think people get that much special treatment really. Um, anyway, I'm going to add a blue concrete partition in between the two desks. I'm also going to add one, two, three, four blue concretes here, just at the back, just like this, just keeping separate a little bit. And I'm just going to add a little, a tad little bit of office decoration, nothing too crazy. Bruin stands, flower pots, sea pickles, <laughs> sea pickles, and some sort of flowers. So this middle partition here, this is going to be, it's basically just going to have like flowers and a couple of like sea pickles on it and now the reason for that is because these are cups those are basically just cups so like coffee cups to start discarded coffee cups and all that sort of stuff and on here this is where you can make the drinks so this is going to have a couple of brewing stand and of course a couple of cups so again very simple decoration spice it up if you like you're more than welcome to that is pretty much all that comes with the office, the actual main office. It's dead simple. Later on, we'll be adding lanterns and plants and colour everywhere, but that's all going to be in one go. 
So the next thing that we're going to do is work our way into the captain's room. This is the captain's office. And you know what? If you wanted to, you could even take one of these signs here and you could label it as such. So it'd probably be maybe about here, wouldn't it? So maybe we could put like, Captain? Captain Zer? Can we have... No, not Captain America. Um, captains. And then how do we go to... The oh, there we go. And then office. Come on. Perfect. There we are. Lovely. Auto... Auto predict. Perfect. Captain's office. So, now that we're in the captain's office, let's get rid of all this. And here are all the materials that we're going to be using in the captain's office, ladies and gentlemen. Please do make sure that you have access to all of those and enough of those materials as well. So, now that we have all of those materials, ladies and gentlemen, pause the video if you have to, of course, we can now begin. So, I feel as though that we're making a lot of the same stuff in all the rooms, but again, I'd... I'd, I'd this is what would be in a police station, so... Uh, the first thing that we're going to do is make a desk coming out of this wall. It's going to come right out of the middle of this wall here, right at the end, like as you walk in. And it's going to be two quartz slabs, and then an upside down quartz stair on the end. Here we are. Uh, we're going to stick a quartz stair on the very first quartz slab. Item frame in it, apple, stone pressure plate, button. You guys know the drill. We're going to stick chairs either side, and we're going to stick oak signs on here. And again, feel free to use any color of anything. Um, I'm just sticking to oaks and spruce just because I don't want to get too fancy with it. Uh, I'm going to make a bookcase behind where the captain would sit. This is, this is where the captain would sit. And I'm going to make a little filing cabinet. So to make the filing cabinet, light gray concrete, gray shulk box, or sorry, light gray shulk box, gray shulk box, gray concrete arm stand. And uh, it's basically, uh, we're just going to chuck a grey shulker box, like grey shulker box on top. Item frames in, grey concrete's in. And that's like a workable filing cabinet. Armour stand in the corner, and that's of course just to keep like whatever uniform the captain may wear. And uh, you're more than welcome also to add like shelves and things like that in here. I'd, later on, I'm going to be adding a couple of things. I mean, you could, again, like I'm going to be adding decoration a little bit later. But I'm going to add maybe like a lantern, maybe like a picture. We could even have like a, a flower or something in, uh, in like that. But this uh, this will do for now. I think that that's actually, that's all right. And um, in doing that, ladies and gentlemen, believe it or not, we, we have actually done like the majority of our police station. The only thing that we have to do is go all the way through the rooms once more and just add some finishing touches, some last detail, so to speak. So I'm going to come all the way down here. And here are all of the items that I'm going to be using to, so to speak, spruce up the police station. So feel free to, you don't even have to do this part if you want, it depends whether you're happy with your police station as it is, but if you want to make it look a bit more colourful, lighter, brighter, add some flair, then grab these. So, once you have finished grabbing all of those materials for yourself, ladies and gentlemen, we can get started. So, why don't we actually work our way through the police station uh, in the same way that we kind of built it? So. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to just add, just in the corner here, a potted plant. That's all I'm going to add. Just just because, just a potted plant here, and I might even add one, maybe just here behind this chair. You don't have to add these things, because, I mean, this is obviously, this is where the prisoners are. So, it's, it's kind of up to your discretion if they're allowed to see plant life. <laughs> Um, what else can we add? Well, in here, we've done a pretty good job of keeping it light and bright, but if you wanted to, say, you can give, like, the armor stands, like, sticks, which would be, like, the police billy clubs. You could even give them, like, armor and weapons and stuff as well. Uh, if you wanted to, you could add a little bit of carpet here, too, but I, I don't really want to add too much to this part, simply because it's meant to be dark, it's meant to be dreary. Again, it's, a lot of this is your discretion. And not only that, we can now work our way through to here. So this is actually like a, meant to be a lot nicer, a lot brighter. So around here, we can add like potted plants like next to the doorways. Like in these positions, we can maybe even add one in the corner here. If we want, we can add... Um, I think we've actually got quite a few lanterns already, so I, d I don't think that we'll be adding lanterns. But you you can add like pictures and stuff if you want. So maybe maybe we we add like say like here we add like maybe that sort of picture, and maybe we can add maybe this sort of picture too. You know, if you want, I think I think maybe there might be. I've never been to the police station honestly. 
I, I guess I've never been caught. But I've never been I've never been to the police station, so I don't know what I, I figure they might have like loads of posters and stuff, kinda of like you would see at a school, maybe. I don't know. Um we can add like blue and white alternating carpet to this sort of area. Maybe even in kind of like this middling area here, maybe. Or maybe maybe it is just in front of the desk area, just to kind of like brighten this up, make it a little bit more inviting. That that doesn't look too bad actually, does it? You can even again loads of pot of plants if you want. I use all different colours, obviously, but I'm just I'm just if for the sake of keeping your inventory a little bit less uh, a little bit less cramped, you can add flowers everywhere. When it comes to the garage, I'm actually really happy with it. Um, the only thing that we're missing from the garage, or so I would say, is vehicles, and that is something that we're going to handle in completely different tutorials. So I'm quite happy with how the garage looks. Um, let's work our way upstairs. I'm quite happy here. Like we, we've made a couple of changes, but I think it has made quite an impact. When it comes to the stairway here, I mean, I'd I'd recommend just a little bit of carpet, maybe here at the bottom. Maybe completely fill the area in with carpet. Might it might actually look quite good. We could even add like a a lantern in the corner, and you could add like a painting as well. Because I mean, it's a hallway. It doesn't have to be so dim. Um, we could even have like again like a sea lantern, and maybe you could have a very specific painting. So, <laughs> I guess you could have Pinocchio on the wall. I, I don't see why not. And again, if you wanted to, more pot of plants. Uh, I, I get, do mix up the pot of plants. Don't just use the same ones over. But I'm just giving you guys some ideas where you might want to add them. Um, speaking of which, I mean, since this is a hallway, we could even... I, I only just thought this right now. We could add a, a window here if we wanted to. So... I, we're kind of going to be using everything, but I'm, I'm just going to remember that we added this window and there might be a couple more places that we can add them to. So when we get into the office area, we're going to we're going to move straight into the interrogation. In the interrogation room, I actually like it exactly how it is. I like it exactly how it is. I think it's supposed to be dark. It's meant to be a bit dreary. It's not meant to be fun in here. Kind of how the jail is supposed to be below, but I did add a little bit of flavor to that, I guess. But this this is an interrogation room. I'm leaving that how it is. This room, here, I think I'm going to pretty much, I, the only thing that I would add is maybe just like, again, plant and leaves just to brighten things up a bit. You could add like a painting on the wall. You, these could even be like mug shots, like you could have this guy, you could have, uh, you could have that guy. They could be like previous mug shots on the wall if you wanted to. I probably wouldn't add any carpet here, or maybe you could add carpet in such a way that it kind of like let people know that you stand, that's where you stand. But I probably wouldn't add too much. The office area itself, I do feel as though that we should make this a little bit brighter, so I'm just going to add a strip of carpet kind of like leading from this sort of area here. Just along the floor. Now you could make this one row thick or you could make it three rows thick. I kind of like just having one. We have flowers up already. You can add lanterns up next to the desks to keep things brighter. Um, you could even add a little bit of carpet behind the desks just to make it a little bit less depressing. You're always welcome to add paintings because I mean... Um, you, you might get a painting in the... Well, this is going to be difficult to add because because of the button. Hmm. Not good. How do, how, how, do we, how do we just add a single painting without having to rip up the button? I guess that's unfortunate. But we could have paintings like here, you know, like family members and stuff like have family, family paintings or, or family pictures and stuff. Um, could have the same sort of thing. We could have like a giant painting here. I, I guess that there, there probably would be artwork, right? like in the police station i think there would anyway like especially like where the employees are the police people you, you'd want a little bit of artwork just to spice things up a bit um so maybe like a painting there for instance and we could even have like a we could have a little bit of carpet leading you here so that people are intrigued to come down this way because i mean I, you've got the window and then you see the carpet and then you see the uh the exit when it comes to the captain's office, I mean like a, a lantern up here, maybe like a lantern also here, flower here, you know, oak leaves here, maybe like a, a strip of carpet, um, maybe here, that it, it, that doesn't look so good, maybe, maybe something like that, you know? I'd, it's not exactly like the nicest looking office in the world, but I think that it's alright. And um, now, I mean, with all of the, um, with all of the armor stands, 
we can add armor to them if we so choose or just hats or just whatever so like this armor stand we could just have the hat and we could have the uh, billy club I, I think it's called I, I don't know um no armor stand here but we do have armor stands down here oh and um where where else could we we there's no that not that many places that you can add windows ladies and gentlemen but i mean a window there is actually all right um heading downstairs um, we do have a couple of armor stands here, which I kind of forgot about, but I mean, you could give this like a, a bow, crossbow. All of them would have hats, I think, something like that, just, just like equipment. You could even place chests about the place and you could keep more equipment and stuff in there as well. But again, that's, that's kind of up to your discretion, but that's... Ladies and gentlemen, that's the entire place complete. Uh, I, I don't think that there's anything that we're missing. That's, that's exactly how this place should look and um, that's all there is to it. So this is what the entire build should look like once it has been 100% fully completed, ladies and gentlemen. This is the reception area. This is where you would first immediately come into the police station. I think that it looks quite a lot better with a little bit of colour here. It's not supposed to be a miserable room. Uh, this is going to be the garage area. The garage, we've already seen it. It's a bit bland, but with vehicles in it, it'll look so much better. As we move through into the jail area... The jail area is probably a little too colourful, but we have each one of the jail cells kitted out for all of the things that the prisoners uh, would need in there. We have some seats, we have cameras, we have lighting, the guard has his keys, he's got a, like, a little billy club, he has his computer. As we move through here, we have a hallway which is nice and colourful, it's got some paintings, it's nice and bright up here, same can be said for upstairs. Um, in the office area we can move through to the interrogation room which is again this is supposed to be i think boring interrogating room nothing crazy going on here if we move through into the processing area it's a little bit more interesting we've got a couple of seats where you can watch the interrogation a mugshot taking area a processing area where you can type all the info into a computer and then when we move back through we have the general office area for the Officers, you could even add another desk here by the way. There is enough room if you did want one and uh, We've got a couple of desks some some plant lives some uh, brewing stands and some coffee cups and stuff like that We have the captain's office, which uh, is pretty much a little bit separate. It's got some filing cabinets It's got a little bit more equipment a little bit uh, some books that he might need or she might need for uh, For their uh, cap captaining it's uh, nice and bright in here. It's not too miserable You could even add a window if you wanted to a small window or two and um, that pretty much just leads you up to here where we have this painting and this, this is where the helipad would be. And that's it. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please do remember to subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed already. Please do also click the little bell next to the subscription button. That will ensure that you get all my stuff sent directly to your sub box. And not only that, ladies and gentlemen, if you do want to make any more of my city-related builds, whether it be my school or any other of such city related builds then check out the card system the description below and the top of the comment section as well i'll be leaving links to all of those things and i'm also going to be making some police related vehicles such as a police car a police bike a riot van and also a police helicopter so you've got those to look forward to as well thank you so much for watching everybody i appreciate all of you very 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 much i'll see you in the next one goodbye